The more boats we can get out there, the better, and it's good to see them mix it around. And Sydney Harbour, it's a beautiful harbour to sail on. Uh, today, they were, they were out the heads a little bit further, so it was uh, a little rougher for, for everyone, including, including the uh, spectators. So it made it a little bit interesting, a bit of a swell coming through there. But uh, yeah, you know, we, I'm sure everyone enjoyed it. I can say the guys on our boat did. It was better uh, for us, uh, we got a second and uh, we're leading in one race which was abandoned so that was disappointing so I think our crew work was a lot better and, uh, and we liked the, you know, the, the ver variability of the wind so it was good. We were always hoping for more. Uh, obviously, to get the podium finish is still good in this fleet. You know, it's a very difficult, very competitive fleet. We did a little bit better today than we did yesterday, so I guess that that bit is good. Uh, we, at least we improved. But um, we, uh, you know, the, the result the results are simple. You know, if you put a lot of work in, you get a lot of results out. Uh, and we have, just haven't put enough work in, and the others have that beat us. So I guess that's the plan for next time round. Had three more races today. First race, we had a third, and uh, the next two races we were lucky enough to win them and draw level with Transfusion on points, and uh, with one extra win, beat them on a countback. So I call that a pretty good day for us. Well, there's the uh, state championships coming up in uh, in January, so with Aberdeen's uh, sponsorship, is, which was great, you know, um, we'll just have to improve on our teamwork and try and get better, and uh, then do the 10th, what is it, 10th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th, and then, uh, you know, depending on how that all goes and how finances work out, whether we end up taking the boat down to uh, Hobart to do the Nationals down in Tasmania.